Hello, I'm Robbie Adair, and this is OS Tips from OS Training. In a previous OS Tips, Rod started a template showdown. He covered SP Page Builder for Joomla. Is there another option? You betcha there is. So Utheme has been around for quite some time in the Joomla world. Things like Zoo and Widget Kit you've probably heard of. They also made templates, but now they also have a page builder. And that page builder is not only available in Joomla, but also WordPress. So let's take a little look. So Utheme offers templates, but if you're going to get the Utheme Pro page builder, you get all of these templates included in it. These templates, and there's a lot of them there, you can per peruse them on their website, utheme.com, um, but the page builder will function appropriately with all of those templates, as well as there's a library built into this page builder that allows you to pull the layouts from any of the different templates in there. Now, there is not a free version, but the pricing is not bad on this page builder, in my opinion. Um, the one site price is $5 a month, whether you're getting Joomla or whether you're getting WordPress, but you do have to pick, as well as the standard, meaning you're gonna get three sites worth Joomla or WordPress. If you're an agency or just a person who has a lot of websites, the developer one for $25 a month lets you have unlimited sites and gives you both Joomla and WordPress installations, which is really cool, as well as it gives you the Unsplash library image built into the page builder. So when you're there and you're like, oh, I need to throw an image in over here to balance my text out and I need stock photography, they have the Unsplash library at your disposal in the back of that page builder. So that's kind of a cool little uh, add-on to the page builder. Okay, let's take a look. This site is one of our demo sites, Book Sisters. We've used it for some other things. In this instance, we've put the page builder in there. Now it was an existing Joomla site. So instead of using their launcher package, which they do have per template, you can pick a launcher package that will install Joomla, the template that you've chosen with some demo information, as well as the page builder. We already had an existing site. And so we installed the page builder Pro, which gave us the option to have these templates available to us. And so we've applied the templates to this site manually. But I want to show you in the back end, how does this look? If we go to our extensions and templates, you'll see that we have in a template called Utheme. That's it, just Utheme. Even though we might pick one of their sub ones like Paladin or Lakewood or one of the other Soda, Sonic, we just say you theme because if you open this in the styles you'll see that what you have is a customized button now this is where it gets fun if you come from the wordpress world you're probably used to page builders in the joomla world maybe not so much but this is going to look very much like a wordpress page builder if you are from that world on the left hand side we have the page builder menu system over here and then on the right hand side what we're seeing is our actual website so if we look over here, their layouts, this is going to be global based. So in other words, our header. So our header that we have up here, if we wanted to change the layout, let's say we wanted this one where it's logo, menu, and a search bar, and, and no social media tags. We could select that. We're automatically going to see the changes happen. This is a global header though. So if I go to any page, that header looks the same. Okay, so we have a global settings. Let's go ahead and go back to a stacked heading here. There's another global level settings and that is under style. If we wanted to affect things, say for instance, buttons site-wide, we could do it under the style tab. It would allow us to change all types of things about it. And this again would be applied site-wide. You can override at the individual page levels though, or template levels. So let's talk about that, pages versus templates. You have builder and you have templates. The difference is primarily that builders are for single pages. I have a menu item pointing to a single article. For instance, our contact page is a single page article. 
and I have pointed it to a menu item that says that single article. The layout is here. I selected actually a library layout under the library. You see I can pick. I'm looking at Pinewood Lake template and this is where all the templates come in from Utheme and even types of layouts. And I selected this layout and applied it. Let's just go ahead and cancel that. <clears throat> and this is what I got. And then I could edit the individual things. Maybe instead of contact, I wanted to say contact us. So it makes it very easy to manipulate the page after you've selected your layout. And I can even add sections. In these sections, I can control how wide these sections are. If I wanted to have this in, instead of a one third and two thirds set layout, I could change this layout to whatever style column layout I want. So it makes it very easy to control individual pages. So what are templates? Well, templates are when we want to control a blog style layout, or if we want to, to make a special layout for a category of articles. In other words, it applies to something in mass. So if we look at our blog page here, this is a blog menu item of a category for our blog articles. So it has a specific look. If we look under builder, there's nothing here. It says go to templates. If I go to my templates and I look, you'll see, yep, there's a blog layout and here's the builder. Once we build, go into that, we actually see the builder layout. And this is where we could change our layout and how we want these blog pages to look. But we might have more than one blog page layout. For instance, our books is a category of articles. We even have on that category of articles, custom fields. And this template allows us to pull in our content dynamically, including custom fields. For instance, our book page here, you can see we have a different category called book template. If we go into the builder, it was based on that other one, right? We have the same image, we have the same title. First of all, let's change out our image. This is where I was telling you it's really cool that they have Unsplash built in because I could go to say, select a new image. If I have files that I've uploaded, I can select that, but maybe I wanna go in here and search. I can search for say book, select an image that I think will work. Voila, I have it. When I save my outline, it will say it's going to download that Unsplash media. Now we have a new image there at the top. And of course, instead of saying our news, we probably would wanna say our books here. You get the picture. We would wanna change this to modify it. Now, if we are looking down here at the bottom, this grid part, what we are looking at are individually entered items here. I'm gonna kill all of these because really what I wanna bring in here is I wanna add an item that is dynamically fed. We want these to be articles from our category. Now remember, our menu item is pointing to a category. And so we can say, I would like this to show the articles. When we go back to content here, you can see that we now have this dynamic link and we can say, I'd like the title of the article to show up here. I would like the metadata. And you can see it starts happening immediately. There's book one and book two. Those are two articles that we have under there. The meta is if we have any meta on that article. The content would be our content from that article. And then if we have any images, we could pick the full image or maybe we want the intro image. I'm gonna pick full article image. I think I have those, yep. So what we did is we actually just fed the information into this dynamic grid. So it's looking at the menu pointed to a category and showing us the articles in here dynamically fed. If we went and created a new article, it would just show up in this look and feel that we've created here. One more thing to note on these, you can see dynamically we fed the information, but remember I said it also can read your custom fields. Oh, let's say for instance, the metadata on this, which is our date and author, we don't need that for these books. What we would rather have is something that's more relevant to the books. So under articles, book info, these are all custom fields we've created. I think it'd be better if the ISBN, let's say, were what we showed underneath the books. So now we have something that's more relevant and we're using a custom field dynamically with our page builder. Last thing that I'm going to uh, mention in here is that 
There are settings that you can do. Again, these are global. Like if I want to put a fave icon in, cookie banners, any custom code you might need. Um, there's a lot of different things that you can do. This is again, kind of at the global level, but it's the hidden global level. So that's an introduction to the U theme page builder. I think it's super cool. I love that it works in Joomla. I also like that you can do the same thing inside of WordPress. I just think that it makes it more flexible for you, especially if you're an agency that works in both platforms. So please like the video if this helped you out any. Subscribe to our channel. We do these videos weekly and visit our website, OS Training. We would love to have you as a member, but there's also some free training on there available for you as well. I'm Robbie Adair with OS Training, and this has been another OS Tips.